It's the season of buble. Turkey feast. Let me read what's in it. Are you excited for Christmas? Do you know what day it is today? Today is the first day of Vlogmas. If you see me pull the, oh fuck, I've got no petrol. If you see me pull this face every time I start my car, it's because it just keeps pinging at me non bloody stop. Today is the first day of Vlogmas. Happy 1st of December, because that's the day you'll be watching this. Technically it's Saturday. And you know what we're doing today? We're putting up the tree. It's the season of buble. Today we are, I am, no one is allowed to help me putting up the Christmas tree. I'm really excited. Now I have a thing about people just like whacking up a Christmas tree on a Tuesday evening. No. The Christmas tree put up is like, it's like a traditional thing for me. I would always, always want to do it on the last Sunday of November or the first Sunday of December. However, life has taken a bit of a different turn this year and today being a Saturday is the only time I have to put it up unless it was like the 5th of December and I'm just not waiting that long. I think that's the Sunday I'm on about, maybe the 4th. So I'm doing it today because I'm busy tomorrow. I'm going to an event and that's it and I'm also going to be making the may remember from last year I made them I don't know whether I vlogged it but the Jane's Patisserie New York gingerbread and white chocolate cookies but I'm mixing two different recipes together I don't even know if you can see me you know in this light I'm mixing two different recipes together oh god I need my sunglasses I'm mixing two recipes together the Kinder Bueno ones and the white chocolate one and just because you need the house to smell of something you know Oh god, everyone's so busy. I'm actually starting the vlog quite late today and I will tell you for why. Also, whoever it was who commented on the vlog last week and said best vlogs ever and I'll tell you for why was the best comment I've ever received on a vlog. You just you've got that attention to detail and I'm here for that level of um commitment. So yeah, I'll tell you for why. I haven't actually been very well this week. It's, I've, I'm fine. I've just had really bad cystitis and I keep thinking I'm fine and then the night will come and the night and morning are horrendous. So I've not really had that many good night's sleeps, which is shite. So I'm gonna very quickly go in into Boots and see if I can get my antibiotics. But yeah, it's midday. You know me, I like to start these vlogs at about 6.45, 5.45 in the morning. This life waits for no one, does it? And then we're gonna go home and we're gonna start. We're gonna shit Christmas all over the Polari household. Polari Williams, technically, but. I am now going to pop to M&S, get us some lunch, see if I have maybe my first Christmas sandwich of the year. Oh, I really don't enjoy leaving the house on the weekend, I'm not gonna lie, it's very busy everywhere. Let's talk about Vlogmas. So traditionally, back in the old school YouTube days, Vlogmas was something that, I don't know who created it, but you basically vlogged for the entire duration of December. Um, last year, I did my own version, and I just kind of vlogged. Go on, you can go. Um, I just kind of vlogged as and when, and it ended up being about two vlogs a week, which will probably be similar to what this will be this year. However, I was watching Lydia Millen's vlog the other day, and she said, that's the thing, right? You let people out and then they never let you out. Yeah, I was watching Lydia Millen's vlog and she said that she calls hers Christmas with the Millen Gordons, which I much prefer to Vlogmas. Obviously, the Millen Gordons is not my name. So then I thought, I don't want to copy her, but Christmas with the Polari Williams also doesn't sound right. So then I thought, what about if I called it like a Polari Christmas? But then David's a Williams, so I just couldn't decide. So I think I'll probably just end up calling it Vlogmas. Oh my God, let's have a couple more songs. You want to unload it then? I do. Show everyone. Oh, you've got to show each thing. Have you, you bought yourself some I mean, Lightly ginger sold. turmeric. No, yeah, just in case you couldn't get any. This one. You're not 
you're not saying or showing what it is. Salt and vinegar. Pickles and weed. Combo mix. Combo mix. Some eggs, because I forgot. Ginger immune support, because I'm going on antibiotics. Yeah. How'd you find them? We had first crisp mince pies. Well, these. They looked amazing. Chocolate and orange cookies and cream biscuits from their Christmas food selection. Nice. Olive oh. and antipasti medley. <laughs> oh, how amazing does that look? It's good. Jalapeno nacho cheese dip. That's why I bought the tortillas. Stuffed vine leaves. Scotch eggs. Yeah, your favourite. They look nice, don't they? Yep. Harissa chicken bites. Cream cheese, I needed that. And then two Christmas Same. sandwiches. How good? You can start with them, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> Socked myself up with triplets. Remember they ran out last year? Oh, yeah. Turkey feast. Let me read what's in it. British turkey breast with pork, sage and onion stuffing, an onion mayonnaise, cranberry chutney and smoked British bacon on malted brown bread. Onion mayonnaise is a touch. Perfect amount of cranberry sauce. Perfect distribution of each ingredient. Mm. This is good. I thought I'd give you a little tour before. Have I shown you this yet? I don't know if I have. So this chair is going upstairs. I didn't want it in here anyway, but David just hasn't moved it yet. And then I'm gonna move the Fortnum's basket and that over here. Um, the dog bed will go somewhere else and then the tree is gonna go here. I would really love a garland but I haven't found one that I like yet enough so I'm just gonna leave that for now and then I also want to pop lanterns and sort of taller candles down here um, in like big hurricane vases. This is it. This is the first time we would have had a Christmas tree in the lounge since we had it done so I'm really excited to Snow see it finished. Down. I've been longing for this Christmas When everyone's around To share this holiday Yes, it's a time of happiness A time of joy But now this year is twice as special Cause I'm hoping for us to fall in love In this winter wonderland Chilling by the I'm trying to get your attention Giving you a smile I can seem to look away I might be crazy But I think you feel it too Like a vibration right between us With a beautiful tune Could we fall in love In this winter The, the new bits that I have got only a couple of things because like I said before wait let me move you back so that's in the way Christmas is an investment okay so you need to buy things that are going to last for years and years and years however I really wanted to with the tan leather here and with like the accents of wood I wanted to inject a bit of deep like depth into the tree so I ordered these beautiful velvet burgundy baubles from uh, from Country Baskets actually, but from their home section. Boys, can you? And then from Amazon, I don't want to fully get them out because they're gonna go everywhere. I mean, they're gonna go everywhere in a minute anyway, but these, they're like on that sort of, they're on that like bendable wire. And it's like white canvas leaves dipped in bits of gold glitter. I don't entirely know what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I just really liked them. And then also, not 100% sure on these. God, these are very sparkly. Again, I don't wanna take them out of the packet, but these gold glitter leaf things, I thought they would look nice, like sprouting out the tree. But I'm not sure. I might have to see how I feel about that closer to the time. I just found these from last year, or maybe the year before, 
and I thought, wow, they would look gorgeous coming out of the tray. And I can like cut them down because they're on big, bigger sprigs. But nice greenery with some gold berries and pine cones. Maybe that would look nice on the mantelpiece, I don't know. So yeah, they're, they're the only new things I've bought this year for Christmas. And obviously the, the ball balls you saw the other day. And... Are you going to decorate the tree with me today? Are you excited for Christmas? What a gorgeous little boy. And a perfect little boy behind him. I can't believe tree day's here. Santa's little helper. The bulldog from the North Pole. A lovely boy. A lovely boy. This is your second Christmas, isn't it, little baby boy? It's only your second Christmas. You're going to watch a Christmas movie with me. Did you record that bit about saying, oh, I need to say it's pretty clear? Yes. I wouldn't want your help, your input, your creative input anyway. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. Oh, done the same again. What? Wow. <laughs> I'll be okay, cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow it is Christmas. decide whether I want to go I'm t I've stripped it back and I've gone quite minimal this year with the tree but now I'm thinking do I want to add more is it too minimal <laughs> it's the kids what's it called okay, very this isn't even the saddest bit it's not even sad it's just lovely sad <laughs> shake the entire tree whilst you're doing it. Which you're doing.
Right, let's try one of these. They look glorious. Okay, it's like fully covered chocolate. Mmm. Tastes a bit like, um, but it tastes exactly like an orange penguin, but better. Beef. Mm. Amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am so happy that Christmas has been installed in the lounge. It looks so bloody festive. It feels cozy with the fire on. I love the candles around the fireplace. Come alive at Christmas, me. Um, David's gone to his friend's house tonight for some drinks and playing poker, I think. Not entirely sure. And I'm gonna bake my cookies now. Pro ideally, like, would be better if I'd baked them in the afternoon. It's half six now. But I still really wanna make them because I was craving them for a couple of weeks ago. So I'm gonna make them and then probably order something for dinner because it's just me eating tonight. And then I'm gonna watch Strictly. That's changing to my comfies. Right, I need to decide which ones I want to do. I'm going to mix two of her recipes together. One is the NYC ginger and white chocolate cookies, and the other one is, oh, I'm out of breath, I had to run upstairs. The other one is the Kinder Bueno, Kinder bueno cookies. So I'm like mixing the two recipes together. makes such a difference on Strictly. What is the song? California Dreaming. For a Paso Doble. My cookies are in the freezer, firming up. I don't know what it is about the vlogs syncing with when I order Nando's delivery for dinner on a Saturday night, but I'm pretty sure it's been the last three times. I'm just a spicy chicken queen and that's just the way things are. No, I'm sorry, am I losing my mind? It, we've got the rumba, the most sexual intimate dance. Do you want to listen to what they're playing it to? Desperado. Christ alive. Whoa. They continue cooking on the tray for another 30 minutes, but I'm very happy with them. It's only the second time I've made them, but they look how I wanted them to look, like big cakey cookies. Whoa, my lips are really um, chapped at the moment from the weather. The only thing that's saving them is Carmex. I've just taken all my makeup off. Tomorrow I have got an event. I've got the Stay Sassy event with Steph. I'm so excited for it. It's been a lovely Saturday. I feel very Christmassy now. I've even started thinking of presents this evening. Talking of which, I just watched a gift guide on YouTube. It's uh, Ruby Holly's. I really like her gift guides. I'll leave the link down below. But whilst we're here, this white company dressing gown, if you're stuck on what to buy someone in their life, this is the best present I think I've ever been bought. David bought me this for Christmas last year or the year before. I've got the, it's the classic unisex one, mine's with the hood. Oh, I just love it. it. It washes beautifully. It holds its like luxury softness. It's, it's beautiful. But yeah, I don't really do gift guides, can't be asked. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave that there for the first Vlogmas episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. I am excited for Christmas content. Let me know if you've decorated your tree yet, if you've picked decorations up. I mean, I've still got stuff to do. Me and mum are gonna do the banister. I wanna sort the, the mantle, the fireplace out. Hope you had a lovely day and I will see you on the next one.